Okay, so we're here for day two of our Christmas recipe challenge. So today, some of you might know, we are baking a almond loaf, almond bread, you know, almond bread. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what ingredients I have today. So I have two cups of almond flour. I have a quarter cup of ground flaxseed meal. I have some stevia drops. I have lemon juice. Um, you could also substitute this for apple cider vinegar. I have in here um, Oh, what do I have in here? I have in here half a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt um, It's not focusing and then here I have two heaped tablespoons of coconut flour. Come on focus Okay, two heaped tablespoons of coconut flour. I have five eggs in here. And what else? Um, I have a spatula, which I'm going to use to scrape the bowl once I finish baking. And then I have two bowls here. I have a medium-sized bowl and I have a large-sized bowl. You're gonna need two bowls, one slightly bigger, just so we can fold everything in together, but I'll show you. And I'm also going to use um, melted butter so I've got butter right there and I'm going to use one tablespoon remember all the ingredients and um, the measurements would be on the blog and the blog would be the blog site would be in the description box below okay so let's get started so in here the first thing I'm going to do is put in all my dry ingredients so I'm going to put in my two cups of almond flour in here that goes I'm going to put in coconut flour that goes in baking soda and salt that goes in it's a little bit left okay and then of course my flaxseed it's a quarter cup so one fourth flaxseed um, just for time all you need to do is just mix it together. So I'm going to use my spatula and just mix that together. Okay, so now that that's all mixed in together, you can see it's um, all combined. We're going to set that aside and then we're going to work on the wet ingredients. So I'm gonna put that aside and get all the wet ingredients together. Okay, so in my bowl, I have cracked my five eggs. I now would add my butter, melted butter. Remember, this should not be hot. So add in your melted butter, lemon juice, or apple cider vinegar. And then some stevia drops, and this should be one teaspoon. Same as the apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon. Okay, so I've Put all that into the bowl for the wet ingredients and once all that's done you want to grab your hand whisk oops let's make sure we grab that okay so we're back so grab your hand whisk I've got mine you can do this in a food processor but I think I prefer this and a lot of probably a lot of people would have um, a hand whisk anyway so we're going to do that grab the hand whisk and we're going to whisk it together for about a minute and a half I'll show you what it looks like once I'm done so let's start uh, I'm, gonna whisk, I'm just gonna whisk all that together Okay, so that's done. You can see it looks like a really pale um, yellow color and everything is certainly mixed together really nicely. And what we do now is very simply bring back our dry ingredients bowl and just gradually put that in. I'll put that in in three parts. So we'll fold that in gradually. One part, one part in and then we just fold that in. And this should start to thicken up now and it would start looking like um, a dough. So that's in, another third, 
fill that in. You can see it's starting to come together really nicely now. Okay, put the last bit in and give that a good mix. I'm going to need two hands for this so I'm just going to mix it really well and I'll be right back okay so that's all mixed together I did have to go in with um, the whisk to make sure it was really mixed um, it was a bit stiff as well so I added um, a quarter cup of almond milk just a little bit you can also add water and this is what it looks like it's quite stiff but you can hear it's still a bit wet so I've got my greased pan here and I'm just going to put that into the pan okay so now that's in um, for a little bit of a, um, a pretty effect I'm just going to sprinkle some desiccated coconut so you can see this is the um, coarse the shaved coconut and a tiny bit of sesame seeds so hopefully when this bakes it'll come out really pretty at the top as well okay so that's going in the oven and that's going to bake on 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees centigrade or gas mac number three so, uh, sorry gas number four so if your gas has um numbers it'll be number four or 180 or 350 okay so that's going in for 30 to 35 minutes and then i'll have it i give it a check okay so that's our loaf done it's got a beautiful color it's crunchy it's got a really really nice crust to it as well so this um this was baked so for 35 minutes so the full 35 minutes now if you've set your oven slightly hotter or you've got um a slightly different oven so 30 minutes might do but mine went for the full 35 minutes um, i'm gonna cut this now and then show you what it looks like and i'll also show you a few things that you could have with this loaf okay so let's cut it and see it's still quite warm so i would perhaps wait till it cools down but of course we can't wait so let's have a good cut and see okay so we see it's really really um soft and not dry at all inside the crust is really crunchy it's got a good crust but inside is so moist so I'll show you what the back looks like let's see if it focuses there you go so you can see it's got a really nice crust and of course you can layer this for sandwiches you can have this with <coughs> almond butter and some fruit you can have it with cream cheese and some fruit so I'm going to show you a few slices um, for ideas of what you can do with it